Fam, <laughs> first off, that is not what I expected was going to happen. It's not what I expected. And they still haven't actually said who's the person that's exploding people's heads. I, I just, I, I don't know what's going on now. I mean, technically, A Train is back on, whatchamacallit, because the daggone. Anyway, I'm gonna focus, focus, focus. All right. This is my review for episode seven of, <laughs> of uh, The Boys season two. Fan, this show is crazy. It's dark. The last three or four minutes of this episode, I could not have predicted even if I tried. Couldn't like everything leading up to that, like that moment of the Congress presentation. I knew something wasn't gonna go well. Maybe I was like, maybe they're gonna spin it, or maybe like Homelander is gonna feel the way. But I did not expect people's heads to be exploding all over the place, bro. Like I was like, yo, everybody about to catch it. Like every, people's heads were just going. Like I was like, anyway. Sorry, I, I, this, this is going to have to be a spoiler review, so I apologize. Um, <laughs> shout out RIP to Aaron Ashmore's character. Um, I guess he was trying to go there to kill himself, um, but he did, you know, do the right thing and helping Huey out, kind of. Um, it was really in-depth conversation to kind of see the limits that Huey would go. Even I thought it was a terrible idea because I was like, yo, you just lost the key witness or whatever. Then Butcher had like this very over arc where it's like his character is fully realized at this point. Like now we know where he comes from. And not just that, like Butcher is one of those people that honestly, in my personal opinion, he is the most deadly person in the room. Because what he's capable of. And the thing is, this is this is a real sick thing about Butcher. If Butcher had powers, bro, I don't know if I'd be more scared of him or Homelander. And at this point, I don't know where this is going to go. Because they're going to have to level the playing field. Like, they have to. They have made him on this side at this point. Deep and A-Train both equally are working with this church, but they, they understand the church is not for them. Deep is already trying to work with Mae even in and of itself. And Mae saved um, Star Starlight's life. And so the only person that is kind of on their own side is, you know, Black Noir's following whatever. But I think he's still alive, honestly. That man is not dead yet. Um, Stormfront. Oh my gosh, this chick's crazy, bro. Like she, she was like, and it's like, it's weird thing is we still don't know what her end game is. We still don't like she's using Homelander because the fact that Becca went to Homelander and was like, look, I know what you want for your son. Like you're sick, but there's a part of you that loves this kid, and a part of you, you know, is equal to understanding where I feel with this, and you. He needs his mom. Now, I think that the way she went about it was stupid. I think she could have got out. She could have, bro, she could have got out. She could have got out, no matter what. Like, and I get now why she didn't want to ban him because she didn't want him to end up like Homelander. I get it. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't too many ways out, but I don't know, bro. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't even know. Either way, like Stormfront was like, oh, I want a baby. Cause I had a baby before, bro. Like, I I knew instantly when she looked at that baby. Like, she she already knew. Even if she didn't know, Homelander was stupid to use his son like that. Because the thing is, that is a weakness. That is his weakness. Like, not just the fact that he has the same exact natural ability of Homelander, but it's like she wanted that. And now she has leverage. If he chooses not to listen to her anymore, he she could kill the son. And it's like, I, I don't know where this is going. I just don't. I really don't. Um, Mallory. 
had a moment with MM. You know, it's, it's it was a really good episode. It was just. I don't think I was ready for how crazy this episode is going to be, bro. I got to get some water, and I'm going to finish out the last episode. But hopefully, y'all enjoyed this reaction and uh, our Patreon. But definitely go and leave a like and uh, subscribe. And <laughs> show's crazy. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't going to stop. Peace, guys.